Welcome to Zanata Consulting's tutorial series. This is our Zoho Mail tutorial series. A couple of things that you'll want to note about Zoho Mail is that the entire backend admin is in a completely different place. So your standard mail.zoho.com, if you go here, you'll have your settings gear that you see everywhere else. And this is where you do all your settings. But this will not allow you to actually do any backend admin. Uh, that's mail.zoho.com. What you want to do is go to mailadmin.zoho.com, and then you'll see this completely different panel here. So for this session, we're going to talk about mail admin, and we're really going to talk about setting up a domain. So very, very simple. All you're going to do is add a domain, type in your domain name, and then it's going to give you a way to authenticate that. It'll give you a variety of ways. Sometimes it's just putting a text string into your DNS record. Sometimes, depending on where you're hosting it, it has a direct way of verifying it just by you logging into your, uh, into your hosting provider. Um, or wherever your DNS is. But what you're going to do is once you uh, go ahead and click in to domains, you're going to want to go ahead and click on your email verification. Um, this is going to give you your MX records. These are what you're going to go ahead and set up. If you're unfamiliar with this, when you're doing your DNS, you'll have an entire section called MX. You have CNAME records, you have aid records, you have TXT records, and you have MX records. This just merely tells the server where uh, when someone is uh, sending you email, that it needs to go over to Zoho because your mail is actually hosted over at Zoho and it's going to go ahead and send your email directly over there. Um, next is going to be your SPF record. Now, once you've got this done, if it knows if you've done authentication, it's going to know where you're hosting your DNS. Um, it will allow you to go ahead and verify. So what you need to do is you'll uh, basically create a new TXT record. And what you're gonna do is take this value. So you'll merely copy that value, uh, put an at symbol for the text name or leave it blank, paste this value in and click ver. And once you're done, give it about five or 10 minutes and you click the verify SPF record and away you go, that will be, then you'll have your SPF verified. So this is just an identification method. So it says, hey, the person that is actually sending this email is actually sending this email. It's approving your IP address. It makes less of your email go to spam. The same thing can be said about the DKIM records. Uh, DKIM is basically your domain verification, domain keys identified email verification. And again, this is another record to let the internet load know, to let DNS servers know that in fact, you are the proper person sending this email and someone is not spoofing your email. Those are the two most important ones you're going to set up. It also does support DMARC, but we're going to cover that on another session. And then I think one of the last things you're going to want to set up when setting up the domain, and I just want to point this out because it's in a very, very odd spot, is domain aliasing and catch all is the big one here. So the catch all allows you to say of all the email addresses, if someone sends an email to either an expired email address or they mistype a name, you know, or they make up something like they're going to send it to info at, in this case, brokenpretzel.com, we want to route all of those to Brett. Uh, you, so as many people you have in your organization, you can say, if these come in, I want it to go to this one person. They're the catch-all. This is where all of those emails should go. Most of the time when you see that, that catch-all is actually back down on the user level. But uh, Zoho kind of hides it here under the advanced setting tab under just the general uh, domain verification. Most people would not think to go to domain and then go to advanced settings to find that. So once you've got that done, those are the basics that you need to actually have your domain set up. And once you've got that set up, then you'll need to go ahead and make sure your users are set up. And we're going to talk about that on the next tutorial. Hey, we hope you found this useful. And if you want more information from us, please be sure to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. And don't forget our newsletter. Just go to zanata.com slash newsletter to subscribe to that. Every week, we give you all the latest and greatest Zoho news, tips, tutorials, and also a link to the CRM Zen show where we talk about all things Zoho every week. Thanks for listening.